So that's what I do for calves, and yeah. What's up, Sauce Squad? Austin Dunham back again with another video, and welcome to yet another College Gains vlog. You know, speaking about College Gains, how is school going, Austin? Well, college is going actually pretty well. Your boy got all A's. Just kidding, I do not have all A's. I got, got a couple of B's, maybe a C in there, I don't know. Now, as you guys see by the title in this vlog, it will be kind of interesting, man. We're gonna talk about a very, very touchy subject of mine, all right? Now, usually I'm pull uping or shut uping. By the way, these shirts are 35% off. So if you guys wanna cop some, link will be down below. So if you don't know, I train cows five times a week for the past year and a half. Uh, you know, I've realized that they are my weak point. And in this video, I wanna show you guys like my training, how I train cows, what I've been doing for these past like 450 some odd days. And you know, this is a vlog, so there will be a lot more to it than that so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video give a huge thumbs up so guys if you have small tutting calves like me it takes a lot of courage to wear shorts right look at these shorts i'm wearing right now you know i, I got the thighs showing of course but some calves though so i kind of realized something all right and this might catch you by surprise a lot of people might think this is actually gay or homosexual or not manly but if you don't know i do shave my upper body so that way i look more defined in my upper body and i don't have a lot of hair covering up you know these muscles i worked so hard for so this past summer i discovered a theory and i was like you know if i shave my upper body to get my muscles to show more why don't i shave my legs to get you know my leg muscles to show more so yep that's right over summer i shaved my legs and from there i saw great definition in my legs, in my calves, my calves literally looked bigger for me shaving all that fur off of it. You know, I'm thinking about shaving my legs again and why not do it right in front of you guys and show you how it's done. Now, before you go ham in the comment section, just know, first, my girlfriend is okay with it. She accepts me for who I am. And yeah, let's see the before and after, um, after shaving legs so if you guys don't know i'm gonna use this tool right here it's called the phillips norelco not sponsored at all i promise actually a tool i use and let's see how fast it'll get the job done all right it's currently 4 25 right now let's go ahead and get started All right guys, just got done shaving one part of my leg, one leg that took a total of five minutes. It is 4.30 right now, so let's kind of compare a hairy leg versus a shaved leg and kind of see if we notice a difference at all. All right guys, you saw the comparison, so let me know in the comments if you think it makes a big difference. All right guys, decided to stop by the mall because they got some sales going on. Look how far away I am, you know? You gotta park far away to burn those extra calories, man. That's the other secret to building your cows, all right? Park far away, then walk on your tippy toes as you're going wherever you're going. We ain't on Vicky right now. I don't know where she's at. Do you think my cows look bigger in this shape? Ah, uh, yeah. You would I agree? Yeah, I think so. I feel like it's just they're not noticeable. Well, whenever you do shave them, it's like it's bright. It's like not as... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just like whenever your face is shaved, you mm -hmm. get like a more... It looks like you have a clean, more clean cut shave or face. Jawline? Yeah. Yeah. My cows are bigger. Alright, couldn't find anything in the mall. Now... About to go train. I'm gonna show you a bit of my calf training. I'm gonna do a voiceover of it and explain everything of what I've been doing. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the gym. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so we made it to the gym. Welcome to the calf workout. Now, like I said, I work my cows five to six times a week for the past year and a half. I am not BSing you, all right? They've grown a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how I train it, all right? So usually I start off working my cows first on my leg day or upper body day, it doesn't matter. Usually I always start off while I'm doing them first. And the reason is because I've learned that if I do them last and I, I tend to not put as much effort into it. So now throughout this whole entire time me training my calves, I've done plenty and plenty of different variations and exercises. So recently I've been going to this new gym and it has this awesome calf race machine. It's a standing calf 
machine because the one at my school, we do not have a standing calf machine. And I feel like this machine has helped my calves the best because I actually feel it the best. At my school, we have some weird machine where it's like, it's like seated and standing at the same time. I'll put some picture right here for you. So yeah, like I said, I've tried many variations. However, I'm gonna show you the top two variations that I've tried and that I feel definitely works for me. So that is the standing calf race machine. Hopefully your gym has one. And also of course the seated calf machine. Now these two different machines were different parts of your calves. I'm not gonna go into scientific names of the muscle. However, just know the seated calf machine works more of the outside of the calf. I'm pretty sure that's called the soleus. Now, how do I train it? Okay, so I go for a high, high set, usually five to 10 sets, and I incorporate supersets in my training. Now, when I do this, I focus on muscle contraction and my muscle connection. I make sure to bring my heels all the way down. Then from there, I contract all the way up while squeezing my calf muscle, and then going back down, let my heels go as low as possible, and come back up squeezing and repeating that all right so I do that for the standing and the seated it does not matter I do slow and controlled reps now the only time I do bouncy reps is like almost as a burnout when I'm at the end of a set and I just want to burn it out then I'll start doing those bouncy uh, calf raises, which you don't want to do when you're just doing normal training. Now, beyond supersetting and different variations like that, I also do different variations with my feet placement, all right? So, of course, I do the normal one, and then uh, usually I change it up each set. I go with my heels more in, and then from there, I'll switch it and go with my toes more in, all right? So, there has been some scientific study that this actually works different parts of the calf muscle. I'm not sure if it's true. I kind of feel it in different parts of my calf. However, you know, I'm doing anything and everything to get them to grow. So with the seated and the standing, I also do five to 10 sets every single day for five to six days before I work out. And that's pretty much how I've seen the results in my calves. Now, I do got a long, long way to go. Like I said, however, this is what I'm doing now. Now, I know that wasn't much, but let's go over a few key points here is to focus on the muscle contraction when you're working your calf muscles. Don't do those bouncy reps. Actually squeeze at the top and go nice, slow, and controlled. And then also burn those calves out, all right? I usually do like two to three drop sets or supersets, lowering the weight probably by half. So if I'm doing 210, I'll go to around uh, 100 or 90 pounds. And then from there, I'll drop it another half to like 40 pounds. And also let me mention that I do do unilateral style training with calves too. So I'll do one legged calf raises. Just, I do so many variations, but that's what really has worked for me. Now, if you personally have any calf training tips, go ahead and post them down below in the comments, all right? So that's what I do for calves and yeah. All right guys, back from the gym. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I got a lot of lit vlogs coming here soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and check out all the links I got down below in the description, all right? So thumbs up, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shut up. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up. Pull up a shutter. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shutter.